Thailand's national animal has become a national problem. Bye, bye, bye. Smashing through fences, visiting villages and breaking into homes. I wish our village could live in peace and comfort. I don't want elephants to come around. In December, more than 130 of the animals wreaked havoc on farms across Prachinburi in Thailand's east, causing tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage to crops. Once on the brink of extinction, elephant numbers have bounced back at the same time as their habitat has shrunk. Wild elephants are not a natural disaster. Wild elephants are a mistake of the state because the government could not manage the problem. But it's not only crops that locals are worried about. In the past five years, 135 people have been killed by elephants. One was Suntorn's relative Tang, who was out picking vegetables on his farm with her sister-in-law. I was scared he would hurt me too, but he did not. I kept saying, God, please spare me. Please don't let him hurt me. It was traumatic, and I do not want this to happen to anyone else. After Tang's death, Sun Tuan took matters into his own hands, and he now spends most nights with a group of volunteers patrolling for elephants to keep them away from people and farms. There's a group of about 10 elephants that have been spotted somewhere in this area, so we're going to join up with a group of local volunteers who are going to try to find those elephants and then hopefully push them back towards the national park. After hours of driving and searching, the team launches an infrared drone. And sure enough, there are a couple of elephants just a few hundred metres away. Patiently and quietly, they wait until suddenly a shady shape emerges from the darkness. The team then fires flares to hurry the elephants back to the national park where they belong. I understand that the government has many responsibilities, but we need to be given the money to solve this problem. The Thai government did not answer the ABC's questions. I can only pray that this year there will be no more deaths in our community. But days after speaking with the ABC, Sun Tuan's greatest fears were realised. A 42-year-old man was killed on a sugarcane farm not far from his own. Lauren Day, ABC News, Pratchenbury.